guys, it's Amy from Amy's Little Bit of Everything. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Jazz hands, silk floppers, fishy lips, and butterfly. If you did that with me, you are young at heart. If not, go ahead and fast forward it. Doesn't bother me any. I don't care. Nobody judge, judges anyone around here. Oh, I got some goofy looking hair. I was playing with my dog earlier and kind of got my hair messed up. <laughs> he always jumps on me when I'm sitting on the floor and he jumps over my head. It's crazy. All right, let me get a drink real quick. Okay. So, we got a Timu haul. Sorry, if I don't have my hair at least somewhat order drives me crazy. All right, we got a Timu haul for you today. I told you I had several things. And I have to get through them. Because there's some stuff in here I want to use. Alrighty. And the clothes, I don't want to wear the clothes until I get um, through all of them. Because I've got clothes and shoes in each, you know, thing. So I don't want to do a try on until I get all the clothes done. Alright, let's just start right in here. I'm going to try to get some kind of an order here. Let me just dump this out. All right. The first thing is a one-piece enjoying hands-free viewing with your multi-angle phone and tablet holder. I got a green, and it was $0.47. Cents. I don't think my tablet would fit on here. You know what? I think I've ordered this before. I think your phone, I don't know, you can probably set your tablet on there enough to hold it. Um, I got this because sometimes I can put my phone in there while maybe I'm eating or checking on some emails or something. But I just thought it'd be nice to have this. And plus, 47 cents, can't go wrong. All right, then we got nail polish remover in a stick. I'm gonna have to throw my trash somewhere besides here. Okay. This is my Timu shirt. I love this shirt. It's oh, it feels wonderful. Okay, this is fingernail polish remover. You know when you're polishing your nails and you're getting a little crazy, getting it all set up. Oh, great. Okay, I'm just gonna have to show you guys. But you get a couple of white things in there that you get to replace it with this white thing. So you get one, two. No. So it's full of nail polish and then you just replace the um, white tip once you get done. And so I think you've got a total of four because you've got this one and then three replacement. Yep, three. So, and it's got plastic all around it and I don't have anything that will get in the plastic. But um, it's really nice. I've had this before and I wanted to get another one because it was $1.97. Then I've had these before nail drills. I want to just get a couple more because these were um, $3.58. It's a 13 piece set nail polishing bit. Nail drill set. Um, let's see. Oh, and then you know how I always get these little kits when they come and they pop up? This kit here was $5.39. You'll pay that for one file. You get nail buffers, buffers. You get these kind of buffers, the nail files. I really don't care for the black, but I'll use that on maybe like a pedicure, following my toes or something. Um, I noticed that sometimes the black will come off on the, you know, like say you do acrylics and you're filing, the black sometimes comes off, not all the times, but I try to avoid the black, but this is okay. I didn't care, I can always use files. And this little set was, like I said, five thirty-nine. dollars not bad at all. Um, I haven't been to a beauty supply in a while because um, I've been getting everything off of Timu. Oh, and I got my little earrings in that look like them today. Those are so cute. All right, um, let's see. Okay, and then I got this little set for $5.84. My gosh, what a bargain. 
wait till you see this set. And it is a seven piece nail stainless steel nail cuticle scissors, blah, blah, blah. You know, it just says pusher and all kinds of stuff. All right. And it's really cute. Oh my gosh, there's no way you can get spend this at the beauty supply place for $5.84. No way. I'm going to pull out everything that's in here. And then I'm going to put them back in that little pouch. Okay, you got nippers, cuticle nippers. These are really pretty. I love the change of colors and stuff. There's that. I like how it has a safety thing. I'm just going to put them right back. You get this little holder. I probably won't keep it in that, but um, here's a cuticle pusher. Really nice. I mean, not even, you couldn't even buy one of these at Sally's for this price. And then here's a, um, you clean off your nail, clean out your toenails, fingernails with this little thing. I like this because it gets around the edges. Let me see if they name them. Um, scissors? It says scissors. Oh, cuticle scissors. They're using that. <coughs> um, dead skin pusher. Manicure pedicure tools. Nail file. I don't see a nail file. Okay, and I think this is another cuticle pusher that they were talking about. I was trying to see if they named them all, but they don't have names for them all. And then another one that's got more of a sharper edge. Cuticle pusher. And then I use this for like if I'm removing acrylic nail, but it doesn't say it. It's more like, well, it just says manicure pedicure, pedicure tools. So that might be in that family. It also said nail files. But I didn't see a nail file in there. And this little guy is when you're doing acrylics and you want them to have a round, a round uh, shape. You click, hold that on there for a few minutes and it will give you the round shape. So there's that. But that's not bad at all, guys. This whole little packet. I mean, granted, it's not, you know, like... $20 tool or anything, but hey. Oh! <laughs> okay, I just dropped everything. Thank goodness I didn't have any sharp scissors. There's two, four, five, six, seven. All right. And good thing I put the protective thing back on there. <laughs> we'll throw that little packet thing away. All righty. Let's see. Then what we got? And then I got two... Poly gel brushes, two in one. It looks like a picker design, like a picker and then a gel. I got two of them. I'm going to throw one in there. Because I never know if I'm going to like them or not. And if I like them, then it's hard for me maybe to get back on there and find the one that... I mean, well, I can go back in there and click buy again. But sometimes if they're sold out and I like them. So I went ahead and got two because I thought, you know, for a gel now, I can't be too bad. And I think I've had this before. I can't remember. Uh, picker? What? Gel nail picker design, UV nail tool. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I love the gel tool. That'll work. And then this one is on the other side. I think that's when you do the poly gel and you can cut your thing off from the tube I think I've seen people use it for different things so it's kind of but yeah I'm glad I ordered two because I do want to I like the gel part oh and those were $1.30 for each then we have oh no this is this then I got nail art brushes professional nail tools look like that and they were five dollars and thirty-nine cents. Man, these—they put these things in here so tight, and I 
don't have any scissors still. I'm just gonna tear the box open because I know I won't send them back. I'll keep them. Ooh, I like the size of them. I don't know if they're different sizes. I'll just have to look. It doesn't say on my information. I hope I like these because if so, five bucks is not a bad deal. Let's see. Oh, a number 10. Okay, it has a size on here. Number 10, 14, 16. Okay. I'm not going to keep that little tube. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. That was the number. Oh, oh well, I don't want to update back on that. That was number ten. This one's sixteen. Let's see how big it is. I usually like ten, twelve, or a size fourteen. Sixteen, I always feel like it's too big. I gotta go see if my dog needs in after this. Yeah, 16. That's kind of big for me. If I was doing a long nail to where I could pull away and pull, that one would be good. But I think I'm gonna kind of, and that 10 seemed kind of small. So let me see this 14. 14 is probably gonna be my favorite. get your acrylic or really whatever you want to use and everybody uses different sizes to each their own when it comes to a nail tech and her different size of brushes because some people do better with um i can't get that in there now some people do better with um a big one some people do better with a little one but that way i got a variety of sizes so that for 539 not bad at all and then for the seven piece UV gel nail brush set, I'm not really gonna open this, but really pretty. This is like a champagne and it's got every variety and same thing. I always like a smaller gel. I feel like I have better control of it. And that was $2.98. Then I got this travel adapter, worldwide all-in-one travel adapter wall charger. It was $7.63. And it's got, hold on, what's that piece of tape on there for? Travel Universe Surge Protector. Oh, wow. Okay, it's got like different plugins um, for your USB plug in like that. I'm trying to see how I get this one out. I think you use your nail. But it's kind of hard and I don't want to break a nail. But yeah. Um, you just, it's it's got travel universe adapter, surge protector. It's got all kinds of stuff. And that was $7.63. Good deal. Okay, and then I got, let me see which one this is. Okay. Ah, I can't open this one either. Um, this is um, acetone nail polish remover. It's a two-in-one formula slip solution. It is used for poly gel nails and gel nail polish remover. Um, used for a variety of things. And I got it because I wanted to give it a try. So, um, yeah, I was going to see if there's anything else I could tell you about it, but that's about it. Um, and the bottle's this big. It's because I can fill it in there. It's the whole size of this. And it's got plastic on it. And I don't have anything to break through. And I don't want to use them in my nail. I don't want to break it down. Um, yeah, it's just... We can use it for poly gel or a nail remover. And this, this next one is about the same. It's called a anti-stick extension gel slip solution. What that is, is it works for gel nails from being sticky. It hardens them very quick. And it makes them become a gel extension. Oh my gosh. 
they put these things in here. I don't even know how they get it in there. But um, this actually came with a dappin' dish. Some people call it dappin' dish. Some people call it a glass. What do they call it there? Um, a glass cup. <laughs> Dang, I can't even get this thing out. What is wrong with me today? My hands do not want to work. Okay, here we go. It came in a box. And this is what I call a dappin' dish. I don't even know if they call it that anymore. That's what we called it years ago. A little cup like this. And I got another one of those gel brushes, just like the black one I got. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then this dust is slick, slip solution for poly nail gels. And when you're doing a nail, I'm gonna make sure that's on. Um, when you're doing a nail and you're using jelly, it will be sticky. And then you just can wipe that off and it'll take away that sticky and make it hard. That little solution was $4.98. Now that other one, that pink one that I didn't get out of the box, it was $8.48. I do not remember if I told you that. Okay, and then we got shoes. Shoes, shoes, shoes down here. I'm gonna show these little sandals. <clears throat> I am so ready for summer. And I'm gonna use this little bag. I'm scared Jeff is gonna let Bear in. I got all these little pieces of paper and he is like a crazy man when he comes in here he's just like what do you got oh yeah there now i got that picked up so if he does come in i only have a few things to watch for okay i got these little sandals they were so cute and i thought i could wear this was brown black i mean anything and then it's got the animal print and i got a, i did get a size i think i got a size nine no, the eight, the eight was the size that I would get for my eight and a half. So, and I've already tried them on. They fit perfect. So see, in this sense, I got an eight. And here lately, I've been getting nines. But, pardon me. But I got these and they were for $4.28. Love them. Okay. Then the tennis shoes I got. I love these too. issues I got are these. I just thought these were so cute. These were $13.17. Same again, I got an eight. Let me try these on because I have not tried these on yet. An eight and they're dark khaki. And they got little like flowers on them. I didn't know that was what it was until I now looked at it and it said women's floral, floral pattern sneakers. Try this on real quick. Ooh, the inside's got a really nice, good support in there. And I'm gonna try my left foot because my left foot's the big foot. <laughs> I, oh no, oh no, dang it. Now see, I always go with that size. Well, no, wait, hold on, I take it back. I think it showed that the nine would be too big because they don't they didn't have an eight eight and a half a nine it was eight nine ten i hate when they do that because normally i get a nine and they're just a little bit too big no i think these fit okay i could not wait to get these shoes they feel okay but this is the big foot so maybe just maybe i think they'll be fine they weren't like some shoes that i put on because those kind of shoes i can tell immediately um, no, I cannot wear. And I didn't feel that way with these. I think these will be fine. But I really like this style. I thought these were cute. And I like the khaki. Normally, I'm a black shoe person. Um, okay, my papers are getting all twisted around. Oh, and now, yeah, I did get an eight. And now, see, like these other ones, I got an eight and a half. And they are women solid stylish sandals. And they were $20.39. I must have really liked these because I don't spend that much. Now, when I first show you these, show you guys these, you're going to be like, oh man, those are some big old shoes. <laughs> but they are so soft. And I did try this one on. But look at these. I mean, I know they look like Space Invader shoes, but you guys, these are so cute. And this right here 
is just like leather butter soft. This is a little stiffer, but this right here, and when I put it on, I even put it on with a sock because I was like, I wanna see how this fits. And now see, this was an eight and a half, but see, I get in trouble with the eight and the nine, you know, when they only come in the full, the whole sizes. Oh yeah. I will, whenever I have my try on, I'll have these on. And that, even an eight and a half looks kind of big. See, that's the thing. I never know. I always think if I stay with that one size, and see, I have done really good here lately. And then they've been throwing me off with these whole sizes. And now I'm kind of like, dang it. But there's what it looks like. I know they look like they're big. <laughs> but I loved them. And they look like they're going to be really, really here, um, comfortable. All right, guys. I think I'm going to end this video. And I've got another one. So I'm going to go ahead and do this other one. And then, um, yeah, we should be pretty good then. All right. So there's one video down. Can't wait to do the other one. All right, guys. Um, have a blessed day. And I will be back soon. So put a smile on your face. Put a smile on somebody else's face. It's a win-win situation. Who wouldn't want a better place to live and styling big clodhopper black shoes? I know I do. And I bet you do too. All right, guys. God bless. Be kind. Stay humble. And have a great day. Until next time. Bye.